Welcome back to Better Everyone. You know, fashion trends that used to be considered crimes by the fashion police, <laughs> now they're actually being praised by them. They're saying it's okay. And now some of the hottest celebrities are sporting these looks too. That's right. Style expert Maura Duggan is ready to show us how we can pull off what used to be fashion faux pas. Is that right? Yes. Fashion rules today, they're made to be broken. You know, it's all about individual sense of um, style and bringing out your own personality. That's so good. So things that we thought were, you know, Fashion don't I was telling, I've been telling mm -hmm. my wife this forever. This will be in style one day. Honey. This is not <laughs> just You just watch. have to wait it out. <laughs> well, we have to get your opinion on this okay. as a man, too. Yeah. So let's talk about the, the one, denim on denim. Mm -hmm. The first thing I think of, and we were talking about yeah. this earlier, is you just kind of grab something and you, you went outside right. and you're I'm like, gonna, I'm going to paint the house, long, so I'm going to put yeah, on my right. old jeans and a denim shirt. Right. Yeah. But is it okay to do, and is it just because celebrities are doing it that it's okay? Well, now it is, but there are some things to keep in mind. You know, you used to think about it, someone once told me it's called a redneck tuxedo or something <laughs> like that. But if you do it in the right way, you know, you can really make it look a little bit more sophisticated. Okay. So I like to think about contrast when you're doing this, whether it's fabric or um, the color. Mm -hmm. So in the outfit Stephanie is wearing, she's wearing um, a G -star, full G-star look, but she has a deep indigo crisp button down. You you know, it's very tailored, it fits well, it's slim fitting. And then with some distressed jeans, they're light wash, they have a little bit of fraying, so you've got sort of that edgy downtown appeal with the, you know, crispness on and top. And she looks good wearing it like that, so is that the key to get like a dark and then light, mm -hmm. not two of the same? Exactly. So exactly. Well, no, and it, it seems like that, it seemed like what she was wearing is much more stylish and much yeah. more tailored and fitted. It makes right. it look a little bit more thoughtful rather than, oh, I'm just going to go outside and, you know, mow the lawn, I need yeah. to like throw okay. something on together, you know. All right, so we got to put some thought into it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm already in trouble, but yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. High-waisted mom jeans. I mean, oh, there. no, please. <laughs> you know, it's okay. There are some things that should never make a comeback. <laughs> and with Cheese Star, it's great because they're they're followed by celebrities. So you kind of buy the brand, and then you've got the celebrity following. Gemma right. Arterton, Heidi Klum, Charlize Theron. If these ladies are wearing them, you kind of can't go wrong. Okay, so honest, that's what it is. If the yes. celebrities are wearing them, then they're, that's giving us the green light. It does, but then you have to think about your own body type, your own personality yeah, that's what I mean. and not everybody is Heidi that's Klum, that's really thought. the problem. Right. You know what I mean? right. It looks different on the average woman though. Right, you know? but you take a step back, you examine her look, what did she do? Oh, okay, oh she's wearing something dark with something light. Oh maybe that's that's what I'm going to pull from her look. Okay. Not necessarily, you know, maybe I can't rock the skinny jeans, but you know, there, there are different ways to interpret now, it. You have, the models are wearing, they obviously look fabulous, mm -hmm. but again, the average woman is going to have a different Don't look body like that type. Model, yeah, okay. sure. yeah. So what kind of shirt should you be wearing and should, what kind of belt, like what right. makes it look Sort of the general good. rules are you want to follow your body's natural shape. If you're curvy, you can still wear the high-waisted mom jeans, but you just want to make sure the fit is there. If you're petite, we're not all 5'11", you want to take it to the tailor. Make sure that he's bringing up the hemline so that it looks, you know, clean and it's fitting your body type. So if you have like a long longer torso, you're okay to wear the mom jeans more so than someone who has a shorter torso? Is that a Yeah, good that's probably the natural inclination, but it doesn't mean that you can't, you know, tuck someone with a shorter torso, you still want to call attention to the smallest part of you, which is going to be your waist. Mm -hmm. So you can still wear the high-waisted mom jeans. Maybe you put a slim belt around it to, mm -hmm. um, you know, accentuate that part. And you want to remember to tuck in, wear something slim fitting. Curvy girls tend to make the mistake that they try to hide their curves. You don't want to do that. You want to follow your curves, accentuate them just not with poor fit so you'd still wear a slim fitting top with um, high-waisted jeans but um, right. you know not something oversized because that kind of takes away so from next time we got to tackle the men with the dad jeans yeah. you know there's some men that will wear their oh, jeans well, that's all the over grandpa here. look right yeah. <laughs> you, get the, you get the belt up here and dude, that's gonna be he comes with a curmudgeonly <laughs> my jeans it's comfortable right okay shorts in the office shorts oh, no. at night <laughs> you don't like the shorts well maybe on women but on men like that's so that should be illegal the New York Times Wall Street Journal they were writing trend stories about this guy <laughs> are sometimes rocking these oh, shorts in the GD. office. Doesn't it depend on what your legs look like? Like, as long as you're not, you know, <laughs> yeah. like this alabaster reflective hurt my yeah, eyes Yeah, you might white. want to work on the self-tanner a little bit yeah. to really pull it off well. Right, okay, so it's, you can't wear short shorts, really tight shorts, no. that's the key. So okay. fit, fabric, and length. So the fit, like you said, you know, you want to look for something that's maybe for the office just a little bit above the knee, the Bermuda shorts. Other things about fit, if there's a cuff, if there's a pleat, embellishments like that make it look a little bit more professional and pulled together. Mm -hmm. And then the fabric, light wool, silk, linen, those are going to look better than just sort of the plain old jersey cotton, which is, you know, can get washed out. And the heels, it looks better when you're wearing the heels, it dresses it up a doesn't little bit. Doesn't everything I'm, Next better. time you invite yeah. me here, I'm going to wear shorts and heels, just because you said I could. You <laughs> said the, it was okay. It's the new mini skirts. It is, that's yes. what I'm doing, All a right. sport. Good to have you here. Thank you so much, Mara. Thank you. Good Thank to have you your more. opinion, J.D. Thank All right, you. we'll be right back.